Today I'm going to talk about how comfort comes from God's help. God is with you today. God is with you to comfort you and to strengthen you. That is our direct prayer for you and for those that you know that are in need of comfort. It says in 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 18, Therefore, comfort one another. And we do want to do this as spiritual people when we see someone in need. But often the person in need is you or it's me. We both need comfort and we need strength. People in every corner of the world, in, in all walks of life, have times when they need comfort and they need strength. Sometimes we think of comfort as needed only by people that have lost a loved one. But there are many, many experiences in life that demand a strength that a person at the time doesn't feel that she or he has. Perhaps loneliness, perhaps failure, or perhaps weakness. Well, they all make our hearts cry out for comfort. We long to be able to say something to bring comfort to the ones in need. Well, we have something we can give every time. And that is our prayers for comfort and for strength. And actually, prayer is the most powerful help that we can give. Prayer is a hand reaching out to uplift and steady the faltering. Prayer is a lighthouse for the sailor on the stormy sea. Prayer is love felt as a warm rush of well-being. Prayer is a way where there seems to be no way. When we pray, we realize that God is with us to comfort us, and God is with the ones that we are praying with to comfort them. And we know in our soul as we pray for ourselves or for another that we are comforted and we're blessed. My friend, before I end this, I want to say to my East Coast friends that I'm going to be appearing in Richmond, Virginia, Sunday, September 10th, and you are welcome. I'll be doing the Sunday service at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. I'll be speaking on a new subject, five God-given miracle Pillars of life. I invite you to come. Unity of Bonaire, 923 Buford Road in Richmond. And if you want information, call them directly, 804 320 5584. I hope you can come.